If you wonder what is an embedded system, then this video is for you. So what you see right now in my hands here is the products embedded system product designed for an industrial IoT. I'm not going to talk uh, very detail about this product because this is to be made for our one of our client and we are not allowed to open up the information. But I just want to talk in this video some time to speak and discuss about what is an embedded system. So the typical embedded system is made up of three components. The first component for any embedded system product is the PCB. So you can see a green color circuit board here. This is the green color circuit boards on which we have mounted a couple of connectors and some active and passive components here, electronics, and that's basically an PCB. So the PCB is the basic building block of your embedded system product. Any circuit that you see like a motherboard or something, you could have the PCB, right? So PCB is the basic requirement to have the embedded systems. Now on this um, circuit board, a PCB printed circuit board, so to say, there are a few microchips. So you can see this microcontrollers, then there's a, a multiplexer chip, and then there are some relays and some adapter to hold the, the coin cell. And then we have the connector to connect the AC components that we want to drive or control through the circuit. And apart from that, we have the active and passive components. There are several capacitor, resistor, transistors, and all of those things. So what I want to make the point here is to design such an embedded system product. If you are an embedded engineer, then it is expected for, from you to design this kind of product. And this product has a three components. So embedded hardware, which is basically designing this circuit board a uh, printed circuit board to lay out and then place the components in order to function your electronic product properly the second element to the embedded system is the microchips a microcontroller a microprocessor and all other programmable devices like fpgas or something which you can write a program that's basically called embedded software so this chips the microcontroller and microprocessor chips runs the piece of software that's called embedded software, which basically makes this um, circuit board to work in order to control or monitor the data or something like this. Okay. And the third essential part is basically the active and passive electronics components. So the one must have to know the basic electronics. Now, when we're talking about a, a specific product, then I can show you when this circuit goes into the production or when it goes to the client, it could be shipped with this kind of, uh, you know, box. It's basically uh, the box in which uh, we can put the same circuit board that I've designed. And there is a little, um, you know, cable you can see for testing and all in house. We made it before we ship it to our customers and there's a connector. There's, where you can connect your AC components that you want to to connect and to monitor and control. So my point here is this is how you know the products are made. This is how any embedded system products are made and there's an ethernet connector. So LAN connector where you can connect um, your LAN cable and connect this device to internet. Basically this is an internet connected um, embedded system product. Basically you can call it as an IoT as well. So coming back to our previous uh, discussions. Um, so if you want to become an embedded system engineer and if you want to learn how to design this kind of product, then you must know these three things. A PCB design, then you must know the programming of a microcontroller, microprocessor, FPGAs or something like this. You need not have to learn everything by the way, but microcontroller is the basic expectations. And then you should know the basic electronics so you know which component does what and where to put what value of resistor or capacitor or transistor or something like this in order to function this electronics design or electronics circuit board properly when you deploy into the real product or something. So this is how embedded system is all about. Embedded system is designing this kind of circuit board and this kind of circuit board can be found everywhere. You can see this into the healthcare products, medical product. You can find in a consumer product like air conditioner, washing machines, refrigerators, um, in the television, smart televisions, everywhere. I mean, from space satellite to you, you can find it almost everywhere on the planet. So there's no product possible in 21st century to be designed without and knowledge of embedded systems. 
If you want to learn embedded system on a binary updates.com, uh, we have the awesome cool courses which teach you all the things in order to help you make your own product and design your product and succeed in your professional journey of an embedded system engineer. So I hope you will find this video educational and entertaining. I would be really very happy if you go and visit our website and see the courses and see if we can help you in order to learn embedded system. Thank you very much and we'll see us into the next lesson.